Have you ever experienced that feeling when you're watching your favorite TV show and suddenly everything goes down? It makes you feel like you want to do To me, that was the time to do something about it. I had an idea a couple of years ago about building a device and it was the time to bring it to life. I did some studies to widen my knowledge a little bit more and then I designed the circuit. After that, I sent it to China to be manufactured by a professional company. I found the cheap speakers, and I plan to use one of them as a case to contain my device. First, I removed the inner components of the speaker, and then I modified it by drilling some holes for the air to pass. Now this is my internet modem. I did cut the adapter wire, and I reconnected the both sides using male-female USB connector, and then I soldered the wires. This is the circuit I got from China, and I added one more male-female USB connector. Basically this was all what I needed. And finally, I placed everything inside the case I got from the speaker. So let me explain to you how does it work. The electricity in our house is supplied by 110 to 240 voltage. But most of the devices in our houses work with too much less voltage. For an example, the cell phone requires 5 voltage to work. Now if the 110 voltage went inside the inner components of the phone, it would destroy the phone. So before the current enters the phone, it must pass through a circuit which will restrict the voltage and allow only 5 voltage to pass. This is called step down circuit. Now in my project, I'm using the opposite. My power supply is 5 voltage, but my internet modem requires 12 voltage to work. So I need to go from low to high. The current will pass through a circuit in my device, which will increase the voltage from 5 to 12. This is called step up circuit and it's very sensitive. That's why I had to order it from China. All right, let's give it a shot. Now when there is no current and by using the power bank as the power supply, plug the device into the power bank and then disconnect the internet modem from its adapter and connect it to the device. Very easy. I got almost 4 hours of working time. And that's not all. If your modem supports 3G and 4G connection, you can plug it into your car and enjoy the ride with family and friends. I've tried to make it work by plugging it into many different USB slots. All worked. And sometimes I get crazy results. Okay, that's all. Gotta continue my show. Thanks for watching.